ahead and get started. We're first going to spritz our hair with the spritz. If you want to know what is in my spritz, be sure to stay tuned and catch my video. I recorded it just for you. Um, so we're going to spritz all over our hair. My hair was old and so it's going to need a lot of water just to get it to get some movement. Once you're finished spritzing, you want to go ahead and brush your hair in an upward direction. Um, I was getting ready so I really wanted to shoot this video for you guys so you guys can get an idea of how I do this process. So you're going to keep brushing until your hair is kind of, the curls are kind of loosened and you know, they're softer and you can manage them a little bit more. Mine was a little bit more out of wax so it needed a little bit um, love. And then I'm going to lift my roots with a big comb. Again, I'm not combing my hair all the way out but I am just lifting the roots just so that I can give my hair some height and some volume because my hair was flat. And then we're going to take a flat headband. It's the, the half inch one and we're going to um, put it all the way up to our hair until your hair starts to um, basically stop giving. Then I'm going to lift my roots once more. Um, this was important to me because my hair was flat. I'd slept on my hair the night before and so my hair basically was just doing its own thing. The next step is going to be gelling. We're going to gel our hair with whatever gel you want to or you cannot gel it if you didn't want to. Um, you can just spritz the edges as well and it will work just as fine. The gel just gives you a little bit of a sleek look. Um, more, It just lays your edges down a little bit more. Um, so yeah, the next thing we're going to, we're going to keep gelling. That's what I did. I just kept on gelling until it was at my desired taste. And again, you can gel if you want to, and if you don't want to, you don't have to, you can put some moisturizer on the edges, whatever you want. And then I'm going to go ahead and just brush that gel into my hair, just making sure that it's worked into all my edges. Um, again, this is six day, um, six day old hair. This is the last day in my regimen. I usually wash on Monday and today is Sunday. So we're going to take the flat headband again and we're going to just push it all the way on top. The reason I did it twice was because, again, I said my hair wasn't combed out for a few days. So, you know, it was kind of hard. So I had to do it twice. But yeah, so we're going to drag it all the way on the top. And the, the other headband um, does not work as well. You just want to make sure it's flat. And it goes all the way up to the top. Now you can do it tighter if you want to, or um, or not. It's totally up to you. I did it. I did it closer one time, and I got a headache, so I usually stop. You want to pull it all the way in the back. Make sure it's away from your hair, and then just knot it. Your first two tries, you may snag a hair or two, but after a while, you'll get it. Um, that's what I do. I just tie it, and then I tuck it in in the bottom, and I put some hair over to cover it. Now I pulled it down again because the edges weren't exactly how I wanted it and this hairstyle is how you want it. So this is the last attempt and I really wanted to show you guys this clip so I, that's why I did this part. Um, you can see how the hair just pushed and then after a while you'll push and push and then you realize that your hair is kind of pushing back. You kind of want to stop at that point. What From my experience when I go past that point I start to get a headache two hours after the hairstyle. So I usually stop at that point. Um, I'm going to take another comb and kind of just um, give my hair some dimension and basically just zhuzh it out however I want to. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now and I'm just making sure that the back, the back of it is probably tucked in and you can't see the little bun. And then I take my husband's brush, he doesn't like it, but it's a soft brush and it makes your edges lay, honey. It just makes, it just like smooths everything away and gets everything straight away. You want to get your head tie or a scarf or whatever and tie your edges down just so everything will stay in place. You can do this for about 20, 15 to 20 minutes or overnight or a few hours, however you want it and it will be amazing when you're all done. Hey guys, welcome back. So after you would have tied your hair down overnight, um, you don't have to do it overnight actually. Most times when I do this hairstyle, I literally um, do it before I hop in the shower and when I come out, I just take the bonnet off. But I've had this on now for, I've had mine in for a few hours, just about four or five. Um, and so you take the bonnet off. Now you don't, remember you don't cover the bun unless you want to, but you still will have to like fuzz it out. Um, this is not a old 
this is not an old this is not an old braid out so what happened was i washed my hair and i was doing like a wash and go um if you did it on an old braid out it would be a lot more curly to the top and it would be like a little bit more defined and it would look it would look different at first i thought it was going to look prettier with the braid out but i like it both ways so it's totally up to you um how you want to do it i washed my hair last monday and um, i usually wash my hair every monday and today's sunday so on the last two days of the week i usually do this hairstyle so here we go this is my quick um summer style basically it's like a bun when you take it out i do gel it sometimes i don't gel it sometimes i'll just do the spritz and that's it i won't do anything else but um today i was going to church so i decided to gel it because i wanted a sleeker look um and this is what it looks like this is how the back looks now i've seen this method done with i've seen this method done with um you know the stocking like the pantyhose i did buy the pantyhose but i didn't try because i find this to be easy like i literally just use the headbands you know there are two types of headbands you get in the beauty supply and one thing you want to do is make sure that the headband is laying flat because what happens it doesn't like it doesn't hold as well if it's not laying flat um and this is it like every morning to sleep at night i'll put the bonnet on and the head and the head tie around the edges to just keep it sleep and the next morning i wake up and i go this is my quick and easy bun uh again my hair is not that long bun can be done on short hair um if you want it to be higher or tighter you can put the headband do you see how it's going so you can push the headband further in but i just do it up to where i like it and then i stop um i'll just play with it a little bit more to my taste so it's basically however you like it but it is a quick five three to five minute hairstyle um or natural short hair when you can't do you know anything pretty and it's really i feel like it's really workplace appropriate um it just looks so sleek like you did so much to it when you really didn't do anything much I just, if you guys want to see more five minute hairstyles be sure to let me know in the comments down below and i would love to do it uh thank you guys so much for coming on this journey with me i'm really excited about being natural love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video